Hey guys, I'm Eddie Joe, and in this particular video, I'm going to be talking about the WeatherTech cargo liner that my wife got me for my 36th birthday for my C7 Corvette that's right behind me. Now, I looked at other manufacturers, other cargo covers, but even though this is expensive, this is the one that I wanted because I often put groceries in the back of my car and I don't want something to seep, seep through the carpet. I, don't, I live in Florida and uh, it's beautiful, there's no snow, um, but you know, sometimes I put wet things in the back and groceries, etc. as I mentioned, so I wanted to protect it. Anyway, you get this uh, via a couple of different forms. Uh, you can get it through WeatherTech directly, and the link will be below, <clears throat> where it's about 119 or something like that, plus shipping, it comes out to be about $140, at least at the time of this filming, which is March of 2018. Now, if you go ahead and you purchase this through Amazon, it shows you a higher list, list price of about 138, but that includes shipping, and depending on your area, it may or may not uh, have additional tax to it. One thing I will say, if you want to purchase this and you purchase it through Amazon, click on my link below, which is an affiliate link, and therefore I will get a little cut of those $138 that you spend on this. Now, that cut's not going to go directly to me. I've made a vow with my affiliate marketing that all the money I make via affiliate marketing, I will be donating to, ment to mental health research and some sort of mental health charity. I feel that, and not to get on a pedestal or not to preach, um, we don't do enough as a society, and I don't count on the government to fix this for us. We need to take initiative and do it ourselves. Let's go ahead and open this guy. Thank you very much to my beautiful wife for buying me this. This is actually a weird unboxing video where I fumble and try not to cut myself. But let's see what's inside. Boom. All right, so here it is in its full glory. I haven't opened it yet. I guess it comes with how much I paid. Whoa, my wife paid for the extra shipping. It got expensive. Anyway, so let me put this aside and let's go put this in the car. All right, so here it is, status post installation. It's nice and snug here. I don't like how it kind of bends here, but this is the way it looks. It does cover up little hinges that are over there. I don't know if you want those or not, or what you use them for, but you can't use them anymore once you have this on. And you gotta kind of push it down for it to fit properly. And if these sorts of things annoy you, you will see that I gotta change these lights out. If anybody has any recommendations for bulbs to put here so they're not yellow, let me know. But yeah, let me turn the camera around. Covers up the speaker here a little bit. Basically, and importantly, this is made in the USA. The weather tech mat. One last thing, this is with my nets currently installed. This actually comes with the car. This little net that you can put things into. But this is another cargo net, which I listed in another video, but in case this is your first time seeing this video, this is on Amazon also. I will place the link for this particular net. Uh, it's actually it's actually for minivans, but it works quite well here in the Corvette, so you can put your groceries and other such things. I put my book bag in there when I travel. Uh, the other reason why I got this is because it keeps things from sliding uh, and I'm always cautious or cognizant that something could slide into the driver's seat, <laughs> basically through there. So hopefully another reason why I got this mat as opposed to carpet is because I wanted to keep things from sliding. Uh, maybe I might have another uh, interjection at some point, but I don't think so right now. Thanks a lot, mate.